Hey guys, and its official the Pixel 10 series is coming on August 20th with exciting new software and hardware. It's gonna be the Pixel 10, 10 Pro, 10 Pro XL, and a 10 Pro Fold. You won't see much visual changes like in terms of the design and schematics, but from the inside, Google is adding better hardware, new Tensor chip, and lots of new AI features. Most exciting part is Pixel 10's Tensor G5 will be based on 3 nanometer TSMC process which no doubt is way more powerful and efficient than Samsung's node. So there is a huge jump over the Tensor G4 based on Samsung's process. Here we'll see better gaming, better performance, better thermals and a better battery life. Google plans to use MediaTek M85 modem for better reception, so they are fully ditching Samsung at least for performance and connectivity and that's a great move. Some massive news coming in suggests that the Pixel 10 will have magnetic wireless charging support and Google is planning to launch exciting Pixel Snap accessories and attachments with this device. So you heard that right, just like iPhone's MagSafe, the Pixel 10 series will support magnetic attachments and magnetic wireless charging. Some official accessories coming in along with the Pixel 10 series are Pixel Snap Charger, Pixel Snap Charger with stand and Pixel Snap Ring stand and of course you guys can attach magnetic attachments like wallet, power bank and even frameless cases. The Pixel 10 is coming in 4 exciting color finishes, Obsidian, Blue, Iris and Limoncello. The 10 Pro slash XL gets Obsidian, Green, Sterling and Porcelain color options. This in the image is Sterling color with grayish kinda accent I guess. Now in terms of the cameras, the Pixel 10 is getting a massive jump with an addition of a telephoto shooter. The 10 Pro slash XL however is gonna keep the same camera specifications like last year's Pixel 9 Pro. Pro slash XL which is quite disappointing because they fall short in comparison to Vivo or Oppo's flagship devices. This with best in class Tensor G5 based on TSMC process, a decent sized battery and 37 watts of fast charging and of course Android 16 with Material 3 expressive design and classy software makes it a decent device. So what are you working on for Pixel 10? Just like out of curiosity. Um, what? So this all guys, your thoughts in the comment section below, which would you choose Pixel 10 or 10 Pro XL, comment down, I'll meet you guys in the next one, like, share, subscribe and peace out.